What's up guys, welcome to the video. My name is Marcus and I help busy professionals lose fat and get healthy. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through the three levels of an animal-based diet as I see it. So we've got beginner, intermediate, and advanced, and I'm going to outline how to choose where to start based on your specific goals, needs, and the unique benefits associated with each of the three levels. Level one is for the folks that are looking for fat loss and general health improvement. So essentially lose fat and feel better. Let's get a little bit more specific. So maybe you're looking to lose some fat, square away some nagging digestion issues, reduce inflammation, and just feel better all around. Now what foods are included on level one? We've got meat, fish, seafood, eggs, dairy, and yes, I'm gonna say it, the carnivore zealots aren't gonna be happy about it, but fruit. Yes, a plant. Now a quick note on fruit, things like olives, zucchini, cucumber, avocado, squash even, those are actually fruits, so they fall into this category. I see level one as an awesome way to introduce more high quality, well-digested foods into your day-to-day -day routine. And this is personally where I started because I have eczema, which is an autoimmune skin condition. I also had some digestion stuff to clear up as well as some joint pain that just wouldn't go away on a general eat healthy diet. It required more fine tuning. Moving on to level two. So this level is for folks that want enhanced fat loss. So essentially faster fat loss and to feel better. Let's get more specific. Level two is for folks that want to lose fat at an increased rate. Maybe they require further tweaks on the digestion front. They wanna reduce inflammation further that's potentially being caused by some of those foods that are still in the mix, as well as giving a further bump to things like mood stability and mental clarity. Don't ever leave me. Ever. Good, because I'd find you. <laughs> yeah. What foods are included on level two? We've got meat, fish, seafood, and eggs. So we eliminated fruit and we also eliminated dairy because it's actually more common not to digest dairy well than it is to digest it well. And then in regards to the fruit, that eliminates fiber from the equation because a lot of folks don't do all that well with a bunch of fiber in their diet. And then the enhanced fat loss comes from the reduction of the calories in the dairy and fruit as long as you don't make it up from the meat, fish, seafood, and eggs. Moving on to level three. This level is for the folks that also want to lose fat, but are really looking to clear up some stubborn autoimmune issues that are at play. So you fall into level three if you want to lose fat and or give yourself some autoimmune symptom relief. Level three includes meat, fish, seafood, and organs. And you can add organs to any level, one, two, or three. However, I mention them here simply because level three is the, the one with the least food options, essentially. So it just adds more variety into the mix. Now it's worth mentioning that you may get all of the benefits that you're looking for from level one or level two, including complete autoimmune symptom relief. Meaning just because you have an autoimmune issue, it doesn't mean that you have to jump straight to level two or level three. It may not be required. Everyone is truly different. For example, I have eczema and I also deal with some arthritis, tendinitis stuff, and I've used this animal-based eating strategy to completely clear up both of those issues, which I am stoked about. And I did this via level one minus dairy. So meat, fish, seafood, eggs, and fruit. So this animal-based eating strategy is such a powerful tool for us for not only fat loss, but also for autoimmune symptom relief. And I'm speaking not only for my clients that I work with, but also for me personally, which I just shared with you. It's powerful, powerful stuff. And that goes without saying that the drugs out there for these conditions are not working. We're simply chasing symptoms around, but we're not getting to the root of the issue, which is nutrition. Now, is this diet something that you would potentially have to follow forever? Not necessarily. It totally depends on your priorities, as well as how fast or how quickly you can heal your gut and the inflammation going on in your body. 
because once you get your gut health back on track, you may be able to reintroduce more and more plant foods and tolerate them just fine. However, right now you may not be able to because when it comes to these autoimmune conditions and autoimmune-like symptoms, there is almost certainly leaky gut at play and at the very least, impaired gut function. My plan is actually to start to reintroduce more and more plant foods over time as I feel ready because the way that I look at it, if I tolerate them well, the more options the better, right? Now, if you're still a little unsure about this whole animal-based eating strategy, you're curious as to where to start, you're looking for some community and accountability, I've got a 30-day animal-based reset starting on May 1st. There are limited spots available. However, registration is open right now. And for the first 48 hours of this video going live, it is going to be on sale. So if you're keen and you'd like to save a couple bucks, you can do that. It's the first link in the description below. But having said that, you can absolutely implement this stuff on your own and have success. I just know that folks like and appreciate guidance, support, and a clearly laid out plan, but your call, of course. So maybe I'll see you in the animal-based reset starting on May 1st. Like the video if you like the video, subscribe for future content, and I will catch you in the comments.